Hey everyone, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up, and in this tutorial I will be going through the process of installing Windows 10 on the Raspberry Pi. This tutorial has been highly requested and I will take you through both the installation and how to connect to the device. At the time of this video, you will need a computer running Windows 10 to be able to complete the installation process. There may be a different way coming soon, so you won't need Windows 10. Another quick thing I should mention is you do require a Raspberry Pi 2 for this. Any other Pi board is is not compatible. Firstly, download the Windows 10 IoT Core from the Microsoft website. If we head over to PyMyLifeUp.com first and then find the Raspberry Pi Windows 10 IoT tutorial, you can find a link straight to the download page here. Simply select Download Windows 10 IoT Core for Raspberry Pi 2 and the download should start. Once downloaded, double click the ISO or right click and go mount. This should automatically mount the ISO as a virtual drive. Once that is done, open up the virtual drive and double click on the Windows 10 IoT Core RPI2.msi. Once that has installed, a file called flash.ffu should be installed at c colon backslash program files x86 backslash Microsoft IoT backslash ffu backslash Raspberry Pi 2. Have the installer automatically open the image helper. This is the tool that we will use to write the micro SD card. Now eject the virtual disk from your computer. To do this, go back to My PC in File Explorer and right click on the virtual drive and select Eject. Now insert the micro SD card into a SD card reader. Now select your SD card in the program and then the FFU file we located earlier. Now click Flash. Once that is done, safely remove your SD card. If you don't do this, you may end up having a corrupt SD card. Now insert the micro SD card that we have just prepared into the Raspberry Pi 2. Hook up the network cable, HDMI, keyboard, mouse, and finally the power supply. Now turn the power onto the Pi and the Windows 10 IoT Core OS will automatically boot. This will take a few minutes for it to boot up completely. Once you see the Windows logo, the screen may go blank for a bit. This is normal. Normal. After this, you will see a screen asking you to select your language. Just use the mouse to select an option, or alternatively, leaving it for about one to two minutes will have the system skip the screen. Once it has finished booting, you will see the default application that is installed on it. This will display the IP address of your Raspberry Pi 2. It also has some info on tutorials, such as a basic LED tutorial. This completes the installation of Windows 10 IoT onto Raspberry Pi 2. Now I will go into some detail on how to connect and also how to install Visual Studio that you might want to use to deploy applications. Now there are three ways you're able to connect to your device. I will quickly go through each of them now. The first way of connecting is probably the easiest and that is to just connect to it in your browser. First, check that the device is in the IoT Core Watcher. This application can be found at c colon backslash program files x86 backslash Microsoft IoT. If it isn't listed, then it is probably not connected to your network correctly. Double check your network connection if this is the case. Once you have confirmed that it is all working correctly, just enter the Pi's IP address with the port 8080. For example, mine is 192.168.1.115 colon 8080. It will now prompt for a username and password. The username is administrator and the password is p at sswrd. This will load up a device portal that contains configuration options and advanced diagnostic tools. This will help you be able to troubleshoot and see some real-time performance of the Pi in action. Another way you can connect is to use the PowerShell. To connect using the PowerShell, simply do the following. First, open up PowerShell as an administrator. You can find PowerShell by searching PowerShell within Windows. To have it run as an administrator, simply right click and select Run as Administrator. Now first start the Windows Remote Management by entering the following command, net start winrm. Now enter the following command into the console, replacing my IP address with your own IP address. Set dash item wsman colon backslash localhost backslash client backslash trusted host space dash value base then your IP. 
Once you have done this, we can start a session with the device by entering the following command. Again, replace my IP with your IP. Enter dash ps session space dash computer name your IP address space dash credential space your IP address backslash administrator. It will now prompt for a password. Enter the default password p at ssw. Zero RD. It may take up to 30 seconds to complete the connection. Now after roughly 30 seconds you should now be fully connected to the Raspberry Pi. The last way to connect is by using SSH. This is probably what you're already familiar with as this is how we control the Pi remotely in all the tutorials at PiMyLifeUp.com. So to connect using SSH do the following. Firstly download and install PuTTY. Now in PuTTY enter the Raspberry Pi's IP address into the host name and use port 22. If it is your first time visiting you'll get a security alert. Just click yes in order to continue. It should now prompt you to enter a username. The default username is administrator. Next it will prompt you to enter the password. The default password is p at sswrd. Now that's all you need to do and you should now be logged in successfully. If you want to learn more about SSH, PowerShell, the web GUI and any other commands that you can use, then be sure to check out Microsoft's documentation page. Finally, if you want to start developing your own applications and start pushing them to your device, then you're probably going to need to download Visual Studio. Head over to their Getting Started page and you can find the link here on PyMyLifeUp.com. Download and install Visual Studio Community 2015 on this page. Now this will take a while to install. For me, it took over eight hours, but it might've just been my really bad internet connection. Once that's installed, press launch. It will take a couple of minutes to do the initial setup. Now if you want to make a new project, you will notice that it doesn't have any IoT templates. Luckily, we can download them from the Getting Started page. So head back to the page that we were just on and click on the here link next to the Windows 10 IoT Core project templates. Now click download. Once it is downloaded, open and install. Now if we close and reopen Visual Studio, we will now see that there are IoT template projects to work with. I am going to just pick a random one. You will also need to activate developer mode on your Windows 10 device. To do this, just follow the prompts and then go back to Visual Studio. Once you're ready to deploy code to your device, go up to the device and click the arrow. Now select Remote Machine and you now should be able to select the Windows 10 IoT device. You should now be able to push code slash applications to the device. If you need any more information, then just head over to my full guide over at PyMyLifeUp.com or head over to the Microsoft official website where they have plenty of documentation. I now hope that you have a working Windows 10 IoT install. I will be looking at doing some cool projects that use this in the future. Now if I have missed anything, you're having troubles or anything else, then be sure to drop a comment below or over at PyMyLifeUp.com. Until next time, have a good one. Looking for more Pi projects to do? Check out these 21 awesome Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.